Hi everyone, welcome to episode 1 of our new series, Whose Bone Is This? This series will teach you how to identify mystery specimens by looking at their features and taxonomy. This episode's specimen is a weird goblin-like snout from UCL's Grant Museum. Straight away, we can tell that this is a skull, part of the skeleton found in a vertebrate's head in order to protect its brain. The skull developed very early in vertebrate evolution and is a feature unique to this group. Therefore, this skull cannot belong to an invertebrate. This skull has a strange mix of features, which seem to be taken from a variety of animals. First off, it has crushing tooth plates like those found in a skate or a ray. It has rat-like incisors, a unique chin-like structure, and it has deep-set nostrils, similar to animals that possess a long snout. So, whose bone is it? The distinctive jaw and chin means that this skull belongs to a jawed vertebra. Sorry, lampreys. This week's bone has not always been a bone. The wonky folds of the skull suggest that it is made of cartilage that has ossified, become hardened and bony. Therefore, the skull probably belongs to a cartilaginous fish, a group containing the sharks and rays. The tooth plates would make easy work of a hard-bodied invertebrate like a clam or a crab, prey which are favoured by rays. But long nostrils are not found on rays, so whose skull is it? We have overlooked the most mysterious group of cartilaginous fishes, the chimera. Chimera are named after a mythological Greek beast because both have a weird combination of features associated with other animals. Let's take a closer look at chimeras. Also known as ghost sharks and spookfish, little is known about these creatures as most are deep sea inhabitants. Whilst the teeth of other cartilaginous fish are shed and replaced frequently, chimera tooth plates are ever growing and non-replaceable. The rat-like incisors and crushing tooth plates of our specimen match those found in chimeras. There are three chimera families, the ratfish, rhino chimeras, and elephant fishes. The tooth plates of our specimen are lightly coloured, triangular and robust, resembling those of an elephant fish. The elongate and downturned snout is also a distinguishing feature of elephant fish. Elephant fish are chimeras that have readapted to living in shallow waters. The elephant fish uses its snout to detect electrical signals from prey hiding in the sand. They eat a large range of hard and soft body prey, from jellyfish to echinoderms. Elephant fishes have been historically targeted by fisheries, but their conservation status is least concern, partially down to reduced demand. Their unusual appearance puts off potential buyers, so they are often sold as fillets with names such as silver trumpeter. Mm. The relatively small genome of elephant fish and their unique position on the vertebrate tree of life means that they are studied as part of research into the evolution of the vertebrate genome. Their genome has been sequenced, revealing a high number of genes that have been conserved since their early vertebrate ancestors. This may prove very useful for understanding major events in the evolution of vertebrates, such as the acquisition of jaws. The elephant fish lineage split from other chimeras during the Jurassic, and fossil evidence showed that they diversified around the Antarctic Peninsula. The three living species of elephant fish are found across the Southern Hemisphere, one around South America, one around the African Cape, and the last across Southern Australasia. However, all three species look almost identical, so it is impossible to identify this skull without knowledge of where it was found. We have identified that the skull belongs to an elephant fish, but the mystery of what species it is still continues.